Hey y'all, we got a new freezer. Worked our butts off for it, but we got that sucker. Uh, we needed a bigger one. We have two small ones. We were just trying to get, our small ones are actually a lot more space than what this big one is. So check it out. It has a light. So we've had it for a couple weeks, but I have not had time to move everything over. So I thought I would show you guys kind of how I organize my freezer a little bit. Um, so I put, we put some stuff in here where we went to the salvage store. And so we've got some uh, bags of a few things, but I'm just going to set these out and start to move some stuff that's already organized over. All right. This is our tiny little freezer. Uh, I do have it organized kind of my hoodie is like <laughs> choking me. This is some pork that ended up in here and it really doesn't go. So there's a few things in here that actually don't kind of go in here, but my brother got a turkey gift to him for Thanksgiving by his boss and it was given to him like Wednesday <laughs> and it was still frozen. So I just used our um, turkey breast, but we have a turkey to use for another family holiday. And then I have, and I bought a turkey breast so those two things are kind of too big to fit inside the bag. But for the most part, I, I tried the basket thing for organizing a freezer and I decided that was not working for me at all. Um, I felt like it took, it took up more real estate in the freezer than I wanted it to. I have found that just using like these reusable bags that you can get for like a dollar or two at Walmart or any store really helps out a lot. So I put the same thing of meat in one bag like I put all of our deer tenderloins in one bag I put all the ground meat in one bag like all together so in this one if you want to go over here I'll show them babe that was one and then I've got four of the, those bags on the bottom and then I had this one here so all together I had six of those with that turkey and stuff in here so it's got a tiny little basket that I keep some things in, but for the most part, that's what we're going to move over. And that's how I'm going to organize that freezer. But our other small freezer has no bags in it. It's just, everything was thrown in it. And I hate pulling, I don't know about you, but I hate pulling out one thing, two things, 50,000 things to get to the one thing that's at the bottom of the freezer. Drives me insane. So this helps out a lot. All I have to do is pull out like two bags or something like that to get to what I want to get to at the bottom of the freezer. All right, so I left these little tags. You can take them off at the store. They just have like, they say what they are. But on these tags, I wrote, I had some fajita meat and um, some deer roast that I had put in here initially. So now it's just pretty much full of roast. I think I've cooked all that fajita meat, but I'm just gonna set this in here. And this is deer, so I try to keep, for the most part, the same amount, what, whatever's the same kind of meat in the same bag. But the burger gets a little mixed together sometimes because it's mostly deer, but sometimes we have pork. Like I got some ground pork on sale, got a good deal on it, but it's only a few packages. So I put that in with the ground meat. And then we got some ground beef give to us for Christmas. So that's gonna go into the, one of the ground meat bags. So here I've got this one. I have it labeled as deer roast, but I've since used all those roasts. That was from last year. So I've got some tender ones in this bag. And I do tie the handles. They're easier to pull up from the bottom of the freezer, I find, if I have the handles kind of tied. Not tight, because obviously you're gonna untie them, but. And sometimes I need Justin's, sometimes I need Justin's strength to get these organized in here. That doesn't mean I'm a weak link. Don't let that go to your head, Justin. All right, I'm going to take this other beef that was given to us. These are some like meatballs. I'm just gonna set these up here for now. Because I kind of like to keep these bags a little better organized than they are. These were some Beyond Meat crumbles that I got on clearance. 
I do go ahead and put those in with the ground meat because that's pretty much what I use them for. But like I said, I like to keep these a little better organized than that. So I think that was four pounds. bag of ground meat. It's going to be trial and error getting this to sit in here. I'll have to have Justin's help. But right now he's the cameraman. I am going to tie it. Now I should be able to stack these like two bags high, I believe, when the time comes. I'm playing Tetris in the freezer right now, y'all. Our red meat we have our pork in this other freezer over here along with bread and like frozen pizza I keep a couple of those you guys have seen if you've seen my grocery haul you'll know I buy a couple frozen pizzas usually um, stuff like that so I'm gonna move on over to this freezer and we've got the turkey and stuff over here that we'll organize but I've got to use um, I have two bags I didn't go to town so I didn't get any more extra bags but I have an Aldi bag and I have a Walmart bag. This says pork steaks slash chops. So since that's already labeled, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this other freezer and see if there's any pork steaks or chops that I can put in this bag and go ahead and reuse that tag. Okay, I just wanna pause and say, check out my bologna collection from the dollar store the other day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not sad about it. Okay, this is the other freezer that stuff has just kinda of gotten thrown in. <gasps> Oops, I forgot to deliver that. Well, I will deliver that tomorrow when I go to work. Don't want to forget this for work tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so you can see how stuff's just kind of been thrown in here. I do freeze my bread and I take it out once a week or twice a week or whatever. But down at the bottom is what we have left of a pig. So we're about to dig that out and organize it. Okay, we're in the garage, so you know, Justin's excited he found burger, burgers in the freezer. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to kind of be emptying this other freezer over here and try to get away of organization. So. But look, I'm so excited. There is a pound of sausage up in here, and I thought we had used it all. I found some sausage. I'll just show you. I'm not a name brand kind of person, but 
Jimmy Dean is some good sausage, y'all. And it's expensive. So when I went to the salvage store a couple times recently, I found it on sale two for five. So I got me a bag of it. Well now, I'm gonna add that to the back. Woo! All right. more reusable bags I can tell you that right now but in the meantime I'll just use like these plastic bags until I can get me out another reusable bag there's some plastic that can go bye bye Until you get to digging around in there. Ooh, ribs. Mmm, I didn't know those were in there. Gunner is going to be ecstatic about that. This is um, gel, and I usually fry this up and put it in something for breakfast, just like bacon, like a casserole or something for the, the flavor. I'm just going to toss it in with the sausage. We've got chops, and we've got steaks right here. So I'm going to put the chops and the steaks in the same bag. I think that other, what that bag say? It said pork, steaks, and chops. So we're going to put all these in that bag. And then we've got a couple of rows, and then we've got all the insides, and we've got these uh, it says cured and smoked ham steaks right here. Those will be delicious cooked with a pot of beans. We've got like the ham hocks. They'll be delicious in a pot of beans in these ribs. So, we keep all this together. And let's put these. Oh, oh, oh. Let's use this bag right here for these chops and steaks. And since there's more chops than steaks, I'm going to start with, with the chops on the bottom. Yeah. I just want to say a big thank you to my mother-in-law. She got this hog for us and I cannot be more grateful. I cannot be I cannot be more grateful for anything in life than food to feed my family. And I will never turn away any kind of food. Um, whether it's me and my husband and our two children or my brothers and sisters, I don't want anybody to go hungry. I'm not, I know I can't feed the whole planet, but I can feed my own if possible. And um, I, I have had some times in life where there was little food uh, happened several times when I was a child. I absolutely told myself when I started having children that I would refuse to let that happen to my children. And I, I do my best to not let my children go hungry. So I cannot thank my mother-in-law enough for getting this hog for us and anybody else who just give, who gives us meat, gives us a gift card to the meat market, anything like that. I am beyond grateful for, and I, it's, I'm going to cry. So I better just shut up, but I'm just so grateful. I will flat out get another job if I have to, if it means 
my kids will go hungry. I will, I will not let my children go hungry. Okay, now let's see. I have like these ham sticks, which I think will fit in this bag. So I'm just gonna pop these babies in here too for now. That keeps all of our pork steaks and chops together in this bag. And then I think that I'll put these roast and these ribs because there's just three of them. I know you can't see what I'm doing now. There's just three of these, so I'm gonna put them together in a bag. Hmm, I don't think I have any more like reusable bags. Not really. Okay. You know what? We'll just use the last one that we've got. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to look up how to cook how to cook pork ribs. Find me some recipes, do me some research, because I don't want to cook them and then they'd be bad. That would be terrible. Terrible. Okay, let me get a Walmart set. What's in here? Did I miss something? Oh, no. Oh, that's not the right. I need an empty Walmart sack, honey. That one has pork coins in it. Oh, these are pork coins? Ah, right, well, let's just toss them in this bag, too. Oh, okay. Gotta put the whole bag in here until we thaw it and use it, don't we? Okay, that's fine. We will know what that is. Okay, I'm gonna put all the insides of this hog, the tongue, the liver, all this stuff in one bag together. I will remember that my hawk's are in here. I ain't ready to make any hot beans. I'll come up there looking and I'll know that they're just tied up in this bag. And since this is pork and this bag is quite full, I'm going to put them right on the top of here. I do wish this bag had one of the tags so I could easily look at it when I'm getting into the freezer. So I will, um, when I get some more of these bags, I will change these out. So, my sausage bag right here. Sausage and one little thing of gel. I have to look at this other freezer. I think I do have a couple more of those before I tie that up. Let me see. <laughs> All right, I found a little bucket that I thought I had some in. And I was right. I have some cured gel here. And then I also have in here these pieces of ham. If you watched my video with potato soup recently, I told you that I had they had some leftover ham after a holiday dinner last year at work and there were several slices. I didn't want to let it go to waste. So I brought those slices home and I diced them up, put them in individual bags in a big bag. So I've, I've used two of them, I have two left. So this is just some diced up ham that I will have to find a place for. Um, I really, I think I'll just put it right here on top of these ham steaks so that whenever I go to make a pot of beans, I'll. I'll go to reach for that ham steak, and then these will be right on top, so I'll remember to use those. And then I just got some hot dogs and hamburgers. And this little doodad right here from the other freezer. We'll figure something out with this in just a minute. For now, let's get this pork down into the freezer. If I haven't mentioned, I love the light. We had no idea how to lighten it when we bought it. I didn't do that intentionally, but boy, am I glad that we did it because I love it. Are we trying to check? Just that I can, you can see down here. All right, there we've got some pork. Here we've got another bag of pork with the sausage. No, that's not the sausage. This is the, all right, done forgot what this was, folks. What is this? Oh yeah, it's the inside. So that's why I want the tag on the outside of the bag so I can clearly see what's in there. And the ribs and the roast and stuff, okay. The good thing about, I've learned about these bags is if, if I'm not sure what's in it, it's so much easier to just pull out that bag than it is to pull out 50 bazillion things. Okay, oh, wait a second. I had some ham steak right here that I needed to put and I've got, just about got, these are the last two packages of a, the hog from a couple years ago. So, there's that. All right. This basket's 
slides right over so I can easily get to this corner over here, which I'm loving. You know what I'm doing? We'll put them hot dogs in their hamburgers right here with my bologna. How about that? Okay, what are these? These are those um, pork chops from the other night. Oop, I'm just going to set those babies right there. Hot dog and bologna. Alright, there's a better way to do this. I'm put my hamburgers on the top. There we go. All right, what do I want to do now? Now, I've got some of these sausage link thingy bobbers, which I think also I'll put in this basket. Since there's not like a big bag to group them together in, it's just these turkey kielbasas. And I have one where I only used half of one the other night, so let's keep that together. I got some thick cut hardwood smoked garlic and herb turkey breast from the salvage store the other day. So it's lunch meat. I'm going to put that over here with the bologna or bologna if you want to be technical about it. I mean, you can. Bologna. <laughs> so here, we, there we go. We got some lunch meat. We got, there we go. Just a few things that don't really have a place to go particularly. Let's take this sausage meat. I, use, I go for the sausage a lot. We eat a lot of sausage and a lot of bacon. Well, we try to. If it's on sale, we don't need much bacon because, oh, is it expensive? So I'm just going to lightly tie that and I'm going to set it right up here on top of my beef or my um, ground meat, ground meat, I should say. Now, you're probably like, where's the chicken? We do have chicken. We have chicken and we have turkey. So let me just slide this over as soon as I get this out of the way. Okay, this is my, this is my lonely little bag. Oh, Justin got it whenever he uh, bought a gun from the store. But this is my lonely little chicken bag, okay? <laughs> I have two pounds of shredded chicken. That's all I got. That's all right though. We're gonna get some chicken on sale one of these days. We'll find it on sale. So we got that chicken, which I'll put over there in just a minute. And I got a bag of this bread, these breaded chicken, chicken patties, uh, spicy. I'm gonna put those down here. And we have this bag of chicken, which does not stay closed. So I need to probably put in a different bag. You know what? I actually just need to use it. I need to cook it all up and shred it. Is what I need to do. So we're gonna have chicken and uh, chicken gravy on our trip this week so we're gonna have to get that used up that's just all there is to it let's just get the dirt off of it where it was on the ground just now put the chicken over here in the corner and my one little lonely bag of chicken I'll put right on top of it there we go okay now we're gonna do some miscellaneous kind of stuff oh I'd say these pizzas can kind of slide right here because that will allow my baskets to keep sliding back and forth. We'll do that. I got another pizza. Probably need to take this off here, but I don't I have an eye for nothing, so it'll be fine. Okay, now I've got a boatload of bread. I would like to have my bread like in this basket. But my uh, ice trays are hindering that. Mm hmm. What to do? What to do? Okay. Let's move my sausage for a minute. And then I think I'll move my pizza. Stay. Stay there. There's like a little steppy step kind of thing here that I'm going to put the bread on. I 
this is some bread I was getting for free and using fetch. And then I got it for like, I don't know, 20 cents for fetch. And if you use fetch, you know how that works. You get it free the first time and then it's cheaper for the next few weeks or whatever. Cheaper than the actual full price. So, and then I've got some like half loaves here. Let's put these half loaves on top and see if my basket will slide back. Make sure I don't have any more. Oh, I do have my Udi's gluten-free bread that I got for sale, oh, for sale, I got it for sale. I got it on sale in the freezer section one day, so I bought several loaves. It was like, these are like $7 a loaf, which is crazy, right? And they were on sale for $1.99, I think, for a dollar. Do some maneuvering. Lay them on their side. See if they fit. Damn. Nope. Nope. That, that'll do, donkey. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so we got all the bread hidden there. And the sausage here. Now back to the pizzas. I think I'm going to leave this. This is, um, it says cooked pizza topping. So I'm going to use it pizza, I'm going to use it in spaghetti, stuff like that. I got it at the salvage store. I'm going to put that on top of my beef crumbles in my ground meat bag. That sounds like a good spot for that. So let's stand these pizzas up over in this direction. Then I have like some random stuff. I have like some mini pie crust. Put that there. I only have two things of this cheese. So let's just add it right there. And then I have a bunch of like nuts and stuff for cooking. I don't know that they need to be in the freezer, but they were in the freezer when someone gave them to me. So I just put them back in the freezer and that's where they're going to So, but let's combine these, shall we? What are those? Those are walnuts. What are these? These are walnuts, so they can go in the same bag, right? There's an extra bag. More walnuts. Now I can actually probably open these and get some of the air out. If I really wanted to. What are those? Pecans. Well, you know what? I'm going to put a walnut and a pecan in the same bag. It'll be fine. Mind the walnut. Oh. Mm. Make sure I can read that that's the con too. When I pull this out and start looking for some when I'm doing some baking or something. There we go. Here. I'm going to put all that chicken in one reusable bag, I think, whenever uh, the, the time comes. For now, I want to put all this, this bag of chicken in here, if I can get it in here. Okay, got me a bag of chicken. Got me two gallon bags that you can drop over here. All the chickens on top of each other right here. Got some FFA frozen cookies. We only cooked half the box. So we're gonna put the rest in here. We'll just drop those into the ice trays. And this is just some miscellaneous stuff. I've got a lot of miscellaneous stuff over here that I'm gonna drop in. This is a hunter pack that we ordered. Gunner was selling stuff with the FFA and I'm excited about this. So I'll just show you guys real quick what it came with. My ice is gonna melt here. So these are some snack sticks. Actually, I went through this bag earlier today, which I was excited about because I was making our menu for our um, trip to Florida. And I was gonna get some snack sticks, but I don't have to because I got some of these. And we got some ham, which we will cook with some beans or eat by itself. Got some pork tenders. And we got some summer sausage. Mm -mm -mm. 
this uh, beef summer sausage was given to us for Christmas. So excited. Put those babies right there. Let's find a spot for this ham. These snack sticks. I'll probably just actually put all that right here. And a spot for these pork tenders. Okay. Let's find a bag full of pork to put these in. Let's do the ham right here. Get in there. Don't give me a fit. Go on. Alright, pork tenders. I'm just going to drop in this other kind of miscellaneous pork bag because I don't have a big spot to put that in. And then we got a bag that we don't need anymore. Let's put these sausages down here because we know that we're going to take one of those on our trip. And this is a bunch of... Let me show you. Maybe. I do need to organize this better. It probably doesn't have to be in the freezer, but... Um, my mother-in-law moved and we didn't have anywhere to put it, so we put it in the freezer. This is, it looks like powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. And then we've got a bunch of, like, biscuit gravy mix. And to keep the buggies out, just in case, you know, when you live out in the country and you live in the middle of nowhere, we're not gross, we're not, like, dirty, but when you live out in the middle of nowhere and you live in the country and you live in a farmhouse, an old farmhouse, ours isn't old, but her old one was, um, you don't want the creatures to get into your food. Y'all know what I mean. Um, so we got some country style brown gravy mix. So she just put this in the freezer when she moved here because she moved across the road from us. And I just went ahead and left it in the freezer. Vanilla instant pudding and pie mix. Ooh, with instructions. Ooh, ooh, that might be good. It's another big old bag of brown gravy mix. So we got plenty of gravy mix. And I got several bags of this kind of stuff that I'm just gonna put over here in this corner and that will about do it. That will about do it. <laughs> I wanna show you guys something I just found in the bag of stuff she made me. Oh my gosh. I said, babe, this is cinnamon streusel coffee cake mix. All you have to do is add water. And it's got instructions on the side for making smaller batches. You don't have to use the whole bag at once. But he's over here like, what? Leave that out. <laughs> sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Or all the way in the corner. Yeah. All right. Got two frozen water bottles. Um, if you guys have never done it before, like before we go on a big old camping trip, we freeze water bottles and we put them all in the bottom of our coolers. And then over a five-day period, we have, they say, our, they keep our coolers frozen longer or colder longer. And then as they start to melt, then you have extra water to drink and you're not spending money on ice every single stinking day of your camping trip. So I do have a couple extra bottles of water. I'm just going to toss these down in here. But I hope this freezer works well for us. It always makes me nervous like changing over. We've had this in our garage for probably two, two weeks now, a week now. It's made me very nervous to change it over but hopefully it will, it will do the job. There's our baskets. There, we've got the bread hidden under there all together. We've got like burger-ish here. And we've got the deer meat, deer tenderloin one roast, more burger. This is our sausage. You saw me put it in here. I don't know why I'm telling you again, but red, pork, kind of some miscellaneous stuff. And then there's a couple of our pizzas. This will slide easily for us to be able to get to some miscellaneous stuff over here. This is gonna be the spot for my chicken. So when I find some chicken on sale or somebody gives us some chicken or I get a deal on some chicken, this will be where I stuff that. So I can still put a couple extra bags on top in here. So I feel really confident about that. And then the lunch meat here is easy to get to whenever we're ready to thaw that. We do keep some frozen burger patties um, for when we want to pop stuff on the grill. These pork chops are going to have to just kind of sit right here because that won't close. All right. There we go. That's how I have my freezer organized. And I'm so excited about my new freezer. Just going to pray that it works great. That none of my food is thawed when I come back from Florida. But don't worry. I have my mother-in-law here taking care of our dogs. She will check this freezer every single day, a few times a day, to make sure we're still frozen. And if we're not, she will plug the other ones back in and move it all back over. Or just set it outside because there's a winter storm coming. Thank you guys for watching. I am so excited about this light. All right, I better close this or um, 
ain't nothing gonna be cold. Actually, it is because I don't know, what's it supposed to be like? Negative five? Negative one tonight. Negative one? <laughs> Might as well call that negative five for me. So Justin's got a fire going out in the furnace and it's heat, heating the water up in the floors. We got the, um, we've got plenty of propane for the, uh, what am I trying to say? Fireplace, if we need that. So hope y'all stay warm. Uh, I'll try to get this video loaded as soon as I can. That freezer is going bye-bye. The other freezer is already sold, but it won't go bye-bye for a couple weeks because it's literally like right before Christmas, unless somebody wants to take it to their wife for Christmas. Um, but this will fit, this is gonna fit a lot more and it's gonna be, I feel really good about it. Just kidding. I turned around and realized I forgot about these turkeys. I gotta put the turkeys in there. We're gonna have one for Christmas, but still gonna save the other one. Probably use it at Easter.